So in the series of uh, tricks to improve uh, the, the smithy, one of the problems we have here is I we don't have um, a compound slide stop. So one thing I had to do was uh, make one which goes underneath here, for example, against the jib. And the idea is this, you can loosen this and slide it forward. Then um, I was thinking about it and I came up with a better idea. I think it's a more simpler design. And the idea was to make something like this. And I will tear it up and I'll show it to you quick. Um, the idea is this, you just slide it in there. It will lock against the bottom of this um, carriage. So the idea would be you where you wherever you want it, you set it up and you tighten this guy, the bolt on the top. Now, when you have to do internal threading, you can you know you can bring your slide back and it will stop exactly where it needs to be every time. Uh, it does not get impacted by the bed. It is right directly to the carriage. Um, real quick, we'll take it apart and show you how we did this. It's a very simple design. The idea here is just a screw bolt. It's a 516. And some of washers, and I can probably improve on that later on. And underneath what you have is this. Um, it's basically a guide as you can see uh, and this guide will let it slide back and forth and the other thing what is good about this idea is once you have this guy in and as you are sliding this back and forth the bottom piece does not slip out of your hands in other words end up going twisting left and right and which is quite annoying so I had to put this little ways on the bottom a notch so now when I am on the bed it will not slide around so a quick trick um, um, next time I probably will make a video of when I'm making one of these but I uh, thought maybe I, I show you um, and if you guys need any uh, specs on it let me know and they can email it to me and I will send you the specs take care Bye.